Welcome to the first of many videos on this new channel, which is all about playing the saxophone as efficiently as possible so that you're not fighting the instrument from a technical or mechanical perspective, so you're free to apply it musically without limitations. Now, the first thing I want to share with everybody is a range building strategy that I learned from a brass player that is a means of building your practical range as high as you care to go. Now, although this technique will take you to the upper limits of your range, it's less about playing into the extreme high register than it is about playing as consistently as possible from the bottom to the top. And what you're going to find is that your upper limit is not static. That is, it will change over time. And you may not always be able to reach the highest note you've ever played before, but as you perform this exercise regularly, the highest note that you can consistently reach gradually increases. So how does it work? We're going to take a two octave major arpeggio and then add two semitones on top. That's the basic pattern, like this. Now move that up in half steps until you find the limit of your range. When you miss a note, you have three attempts to get it right before stopping the exercise for the day. If you get it within three attempts, you can move on and keep going up until you find another note that you missed three times. The logic behind limiting yourself to three attempts is that you want to avoid forming bad habits when learning how to play these notes. If you attempt a note 50 times in a practice session and miss 45 of those times, chances are that when you go to use it in performance, it won't come out because your success rate is only 10%. So with regular practice, you'll be able to reach the third octave just as easy as the first two. And eventually, a full four octaves will be part of your natural range. Once you get beyond the fourth octave, the upper limit of your range is essentially determined by how fast of an airstream you can supply while still maintaining a freely vibrating reed. It can be challenging to maintain a steady tone and good intonation in this part of the range, but we just keep that in mind as we keep moving up and strive to improve it little by little every day. So now you'll hear me move up in half steps through the fifth octave until I reach my limit. The next thing you'll hear is me attempting A5 three times and missing. Something important to keep in mind when going for three attempts on your highest note is to always make subtle changes to try and figure out what factor needs to be adjusted to get the note to respond freely. Because if the note's not coming out, there's a reason for that. And all we have to do is figure out what the reason is. And once you correct that, the note will speak. And that's where I am right now as I'm working to get back to and beyond my personal record of the 6th B. 
So give that a try. Let me know how it works out for you. And I'm sure that anybody can use this approach to learn how to play any note in the entire range with the same degree of confidence and consistency. Also, if you don't have it already, the first link below takes you to a free mini ebook which details three principles of correct saxophone playing from a technical mechanical perspective, which lay the foundation for being able to play effortlessly across the entire range of the instrument. If you're interested in taking things one step further, I now have a digital method book available that contains this exercise and other ones like it that are organized in a systematic way so that anybody can follow a simple step-by-step -step process that will allow them to develop better control over the saxophone so you're prepared to use it in any situation. If you like this video, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more content coming your way with more information from the method book and also a general discussion of challenging concepts that we deal with as saxophonists and also just some fun recordings that I think everyone will enjoy. So that's all for now. I'll see you next time.